Hi guys, I'm Krina and welcome to my channel. We are finally a family of 20,000 people. I am just amazed by that number. It's just insane that there are 20,000 creative souls who are following me along on this journey on my channel. And honestly, if you have subscribed to my channel, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because this genuinely means a lot to me. Reaching this milestone actually reminded me of the sole reason why I started this channel. And it was basically to show you guys how you can make your surroundings prettier one project at a time. And recently, I just purchased a computer. I got a table since I am working from home a lot and I wanted to make my work desk look very pretty and very cute. So I did create a bunch of different projects to do that. And today I'll share with you five desk decor ideas that I recently created and I'm in love with them and I'm sure you will too. So without further ado, let's get started. I found this really cute vase at a thrift store and it was only $2. So this is what I'm gonna use to make my pen stand. In order to create the texture on the vase, I'm gonna use these pearl stickers and I'm gonna stick this on the vase with some E6000. E6000 was really good. It actually kept the pearl in place and it did not move around at all. But the only part that I did not like was the fact that you could see all the glue around the pearl. Since the pearl already came with a sticker backing, I just used that to stick all the other pearls on the vase. So initially I created 8 lines of 5 pearls each, but I just thought that was too spaced out so then I added 4 more pearls between each line. Once all the pearls were stuck in place, I used some white acrylic paint to paint all over it. Once I applied the first coat, I let it dry for a few hours and then I went ahead and applied a second coat on top of that. Since I used acrylic paint on a glass surface, you could actually see some texture that was left behind from the brush strokes. Honestly, I actually liked it. I like the fact that it has this really nice texture, so I just let it dry off the way it is. I'm going to use this varnish to seal in the acrylic paint and this will also give the whole piece a glossy finish. And that's it! I created a pen stand with a vase that I found at a thrift store. So initially all these pens were drowning inside the pen stand but then I found these stones that I had at home so then I just added that to the pen stand to elevate the levels and I absolutely love how this looks. I found this tissue box holder at a thrift store just for $2. At first, I'm going to take the lid and just paint that with some white acrylic paint. Once the paint dries off completely, I'm going to use this varnish to lock the paint in and to add a glossy finish. I'm just going to put this away on the side so that the varnish can dry off completely. And in the meanwhile, I'm just going to take the dimensions of the box so that I can cut the marble paper based off of these dimensions. I got this marble paper from Amazon and I'm going to link it down in the description box below so you can check it out later. All I have to do is just cut the contact paper based off of the dimensions of the box and just peel off the sticker and stick this in place. While I was putting the contact paper on, I realized that the box was not completely straight and it was creating a bubble at the base. So what I decided to do was just make a tiny little slit at the base and overlap the contact paper there. But I really tried hard, I tried multiple times and it just wasn't working out. So what I decided to do was just cut the marble paper in multiple pieces and stick it individually. So 
I ended up sticking four different pieces on the box just to make sure that it's covered properly and seamlessly. So I'm just going to take some tissue that I have from this tissue box and I'm going to put this in the box that we just made and I'm just going to put the lid back on and I absolutely love how this looks. oven bake clay to make the coaster and I'm going to divide this into four equal parts. As you guys can see the clay was very difficult to work with every time I would try to break it or mold it it would just fall apart but I did some research and I realized that if you use Vaseline this can work very well so I just applied some Vaseline on the clay and I tried to mold it and it worked it actually worked very well and I also used a blow dryer to make the clay a little warm so it's easier to work with and I'm just gonna make four equal parts of the white clay and I took this black clay which was very soft to work with so I really like this brand and it was super easy to work with this one so I just created two equal parts of that one and I made six different strings so in order to make the coaster I took two white strings and one black string and I twisted it together and I repeated the same one more time In order to get a good marble pattern, what I realized is that if you keep twisting it and molding it, you will get a very nice pattern. So that's what I tried to do here. I'm using my fingers to stretch the clay out since it gives me more freedom with the pattern. So I stretch out the parts that I really like and I contracted the parts that I did not. But honestly speaking, I was not a big fan of this coaster. I just did not like how this looked. So I remolded this clay in order to make some gray clay. And that's what you see here. I made two strings of the gray clay from the coaster that I just created. And I also added two strings of the white clay. Now once again, I'm just going to keep twisting these strings together in order to make a new coaster. Once the two colors have been blended together very well, I'm going to stretch this out with my fingers. In order to create a flat and even surface, I'm going to use this container and roll it all over the coaster. I'll use a round object to place it over the clay and I'm just going to cut around it with a blade. I'll use my fingers to smooth out the edges to give a clean and finished look. Now I'll bake these coasters in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to use this varnish to give the coaster a glossy look and I'm only going to do this once the coaster has been cooled off completely. I'll use some silver nail polish and apply that on the edges of the coaster to give the coaster a very clean and finished look. In order to make the backing of the coaster, I'm going to use this felt fabric and I'm going to cut it a little smaller than the coaster size. Lastly, I'm just going to apply some E6000 and stick the felt fabric on the back of the coaster. And that's it! I am super excited to use these coasters because I absolutely love how they look. love Bath & Body Works candles and I have these all around the house so I'm just going to take some white acrylic paint and cover the lid with that. As for the base, I'll remove the sticker and I'll cover this entire surface with some marble contact paper. Going back to the lid again, I will apply a second coat of the white acrylic paint on this. Once the second coat dries off completely, I'll apply this varnish which will seal the paint in and it will also give this whole piece a very glossy finish. I'll take a metal wire and wrap it around my finger four times and then I'll just twist the two ends together. leftover clay from the previous project and I'm making a tiny little sphere with a hole in it. I'm 
also making a cube and a pyramid just in case if I like these better once they're done baking. I'm gonna bake all three of these pieces in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 250 degrees. Out of all of them, I still like the sphere one better, but I wasn't a fan of the marble print on it, so I'm just gonna use some white acrylic paint and paint all over it. And finally, I'm just gonna use some varnish to give the sphere a glossy finish. Once the varnish dries off, I'm gonna use some E6000 and stick the sphere on the lid. I'll also apply some glue on the metal wire and I'm gonna stick it inside the hole that we created earlier. And that's it, I'm gonna use the same lid for all the candles that I buy from Bath & Body Works. I've been using this planner for a few months now and in order to make it prettier, I'm just gonna take some marble contact paper and I'll trace the front cover of the notebook on that. This project is super easy, now all I have to do is peel off the sticker and stick the marble paper on the front cover of the notebook. And that's it, the main objective of this project was to make this book look prettier and so that it can match all the other pieces on my desk. So that was it for my desk decor video for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed watching those five DIY projects. And my favorite was this tissue box holder. I absolutely love how this looks. And I would love to know which one was your favorite as well. So do let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to link all the supplies that I use in the description box below as well. And also, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. Have a wonderful rest of your day and you'll see me very soon in my next video. Bye!